Mr. President, late last night, seven of our Marines were killed in Hawthorne, and many others were injured in an explosion during a training exercise near the ammunition depot, Hawthorne, Nevada. We don't know exactly what happened, but it was a violent explosion. We know that. My thoughts are with those who were injured and, of course, the families of those who lost loved ones. And Marines all over the world are now uh, focusing on the loss of their fellow Marines. They're grieving this loss. Details are emerging. We really don't know. The area has been blocked off. As I indicated, it was quite a big explosion. And we'll, we'll follow this news very closely. I'm going to do whatever I can going forward to support the United States military and the families of the fallen Marines. And, Mr. President, it's very important we continue training our military. It's so important. But one of the things in sequester is we cut back in training and maintenance. That's the way sequester was written. Now, the bill that's on the floor that we hope to pass today helps that a little bit. Uh, at least for the next six months, it allows the military some degree of ability to move things around a little bit. Uh, flexibility, we call it, and that's good. But we have to be very vigilant. This sequester should go away. We've cut already huge amounts of money and deficit reduction. It's just not appropriate, Mr. President, that uh, our military can't train and do the maintenance necessary. These men and women, our Marines, were training there in Hawthorne. And with the sequester, it's going to cut this stuff back. And uh, I, just, I just hope everyone understands the sacrifices, sacrifices made by our military.